Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. This is episode 3 of my Adventure 360 movie series. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about Winnie Copper workflow. The Winnie Copper workflow is the very best workflow for the Adventure 360 camera. It is a JPEG based workflow, could deliver super high quality with a super simple and fast workflow. Want to know more about it? Keep watching. My name is Yu Go, I'm a 360 photography maniac. And on my YouTube channel, you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master one-shot 360 camera like never before. The first, why should you learn a winning cup art workflow? The reason why you should learn winning cup art workflow about my adventure 360 is that compared to the Yuqing workflow, it's my own workflow that is based on the DNG8 RAW Plus. The winning cup art workflow is a JPEG-based workflow. It's very high efficient, super powerful, very easy to learn. More importantly, we can do batch. Everything can be done automatically. To perform this workflow, number one, the first thing you should do is that to put your camera to the leveling. We don't rely on gyro calibration. We want you to put your camera to the best horizontal position before your shooting. And when you back to the shooting, shoot in JPEG, in JPEG only with ISO 50 and shoot in bracket 7. As we know that the Metaventure camera don't have the bracket 7, but we have a very smart and clever uh, trick to help you capture bracket 7 shot within the Metaventure app. To capture all of that, you need to stitch all the photos and make HDR merge to finally we'll get a very high quality photo. There are some variations in the winning cover workflow. The differences relies in the sequence of the stitch and HDR rendering. So whether you stitch first or HDR render first, we have three different variations. Number one is to capture in 7K dual fisheye JPEG and stitch in the Metaventure 360 app and HDR merge informatics with 360 content aware option turns on. The second one is to capture in dual fisheye format, HDR rendering the dual fisheye format to get a high quality dual fisheye image and later on stitch in the PDG Pro 12. Third variation is to utilize the in-camera stitch. But for the in-camera stitch, you will only get 3.5K photos because the online, the real-time in-camera stitch will only deliver you 3.5K photo. And later on in my live demo section, I will share with you the first and the second variation. So winning copper workflow is a systematic approach for you to capture high quality photo with Metaventure 360 camera. In the live demo section, I will divide to three parts. To the first part, I will show you how to be prepared for the Metaventure 360 winning copper workflow. And the second part is during shooting, we have a very clever use in the Metaventure 360 app that could help you capture in JPEG bracket seven with a very high efficiency. In the part three, I will share with you the post-process workflow and I will show you the winning copper workflow, the first variation and the second variation. And all together, you will end up with a very high quality images. Now we are in the morning of the beautiful living room. Uh, I'm now going to show this situation with the wing copper workflow. The wing copper workflow is a purely JPEG based workflow. So it works out slowly on the JPEG file, not shoot in RAW because it's my adventure camera could capture in JPEG really, really fast. Now let me show you how I did it. This is uh, the real world situation you can outside it's very bright for the inside it's very dark so how to balance the outside the interior and exterior shot is a key part for this image and with metaventure camera you can uh, actually control the uh, dynamic range with only jpeg very good great now let me show you how i did it first i will set iso to 15 to make it the best possible quality and next one, I'm going to set this uh, colors to auto, maybe outdoors. And next, I'm going to shot in. I'm going to shot in bracket mode. Not support because I have to turn off the raw. Turn off the raw file. And uh, shoot in bracket. Okay, now we can see we have bracket, we have off, as, as, uh, plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus three. So it's a wing copper workflow is actually multi uh, shoot bracket exposure multiple times. So it's plus minus one, plus minus two, 
and plus minus three, and with three more extra manual shot. And we can take some more shots. We we'll turn off the timer and uh, set to Yeah, sometimes we need to take some extra shot, but in this case, I think it's uh, great enough. Now let me show you the first variation of the wing copper workflow. It's to stitch first and HDR merge later. Uh, for stitching, there is free software called Metaventure 360 that is a PC and a desktop version of the Metaventure 360. On the PC, it is called Metaventure 360. And on Mac, there is also a similar software that could help you stitch the photo for free. And for the HDR merge about 360 panoramas, uh, wing copper recommend we try the Photomatics Pro. This software will uh, recognize the 360 image and HDR merge all the 360 files seamlessly. So the first step, let's open the folder and find our photos in this shot. And next one is to stitch. And uh, in Metaventure 360, it was called export. And here, one thing I have to mention is that you gotta turn off the gyro calibration because if you turn on that calibration, every one of the image will turn out to be slightly different. That will ruin the HDR merging. We have put the camera in the uh, almost a perfect leveling, so you don't have to worry about the shot. Uh, for taking virtual tour, uh, most of the people will put the camera at horizontal level and capture the shot one by one. And after we import all these files, uh, just turn off the gyro calibration and click on export. And they will export to this folder. But here, I will go to this one and add a new folder called panel. OK. And click on export. It, uh, the, stitching is really, the stitching is really fast. And after a short while, you will end up with a nine perfectly stitched panorama. And because my Avengers 360 camera is very thin, so the stitching quality is relatively excellent. And after all this stitching, now we can see that we have nine photos. And drag and drop the nine photo directly into the Photomatics and click on Merge for HDR processing. And uh, now let's go to the HDR stage. On the import, the software will recognize the bracket exporter shooting and uh, and click on next you can choose a merge option and uh, I don't I don't want to align because they are shoot at exactly the same spot and after a short while the photomatics will merge and all these nine photos with the aware of 360 seam line and it's the merging is really fast on the photomatics pro uh, there are different options for you to perform a much better result for the different light conditions. Yeah, now you can see we have uh, a very good uh, stitching result and it is a very good starting point. The first step I have to tell you is that you have to click on 360 image because this was a 360 shot and the photomatics will uh, very smart, will recognize the 360 shot. And for the HDR settings, there are different settings. Uh, there are detail enhancer, contrast optimizer, all kind of stuff. Fusion interior shot. This preset will give you a very good starting point. So I will leave it as the fusion interior. And I also recommend you to try this for the interior shot. You can see the color is very great and uh, the contrast, the dynamic range is just stunning. And on the right, you can have all the styles. But some of them you can uh, go back and forth to try to find the, the one that is best suit your use case. And you can see all the chromatic aberration has gone. It's it been removed by the camera and the stitching software. So uh, next up, you can just uh, click on Next Finish. And it will merge and tone mapping into an 8 bit depth JPEG file for you. And don't forget, the Photomatics could also perform the batch processing. So for those of you who have thousands of photos 
to process, uh, you can just rely on the auto preset and enable that automate in the batch processing. And in, in, in the future, um, I may put a new video showing you uh, how to use the batch process to speed up your workflow. In this, in this video, I will only focus on one of them. And for the finish touch, you have contrast, sharpening, crop, straighten. And uh, I, I don't want to, to use any one of these. For sharpening, you can add a little bit more sharp. For the contrast, yeah, you can just uh, have a curve adjustment. And that is this uh, first variation of the wing cover workflow. And this is before. You can see it's totally blown out at Windows. And it's very serious underexposed for interior. And after that, you can see after, before, and after. You can see that it have improved your quality a lot. And shooting the post-process post is just so easy. Wing cover variation is to HDR merge first and stitch that HDR result in the PDB Pro. Now we have uh, nine shots in bracket mode and add to the photomatics. And you can also use some other HDR merge software because this is not a 360 image. It is a dual fisheye format. And you can use your HDR or you can directly use the camera rods. And here I will use the uh, photomatics Pro and don't align because they are just uh, shot in the same position and uh, reduce the noise, reduce the chromatic aberrations, and merge the HDR. And after short while, you will end up with an HDR merge dual fisheye format image. And you're gonna stitch that dual fisheye image in the PDGrid Pro 12. This is a basic workflow. So in the second variation is to HDR first and stitch later on. So the stitching might be the last step for you. In the first variation, uh, you, can, you will stitch at first with the free stitcher and uh, HDR merge later on because that will be cheaper. That is a more uh, reasonable price for you to purchase only one paid software that is for the Matics. In this workflow, you're gonna have to pay for two softwares. One of them to perform HDR, the other one is to stitch for you. A bonus of this variation will have a very high imaging quality. You can see that from this result, the straight out image is pretty awesome. We will end up with an 8-bit JPEG file that is HDR merge and tone map from the 9 bracket shot. And uh, save as a new image. This one. It's pretty good with a Fusion interior preset. Okay, and close that. And we can open this uh, PDGrid Pro 12. And just drag and drop this photo inside the software and it will f recognize this MeSphere camera and okay, click on align and we can directly export this file to our uh, computer and now we will have a 7k high quality HDR merge panorama directly from the Madventure 360 camera this is another variation of the wind cover workflow <laughs> Okay, to wrap up for the Madventure 360 within Copper workflow, this is an ultimate workflow for you to master with the Madventure 360 camera because it's fast, it's efficient, save you a lot of time, money, and deliver high quality. And you can do batch. That is the reason why I have shared with you in my previous episode that the Madventure 360 camera uh, is still very capable in take high quality shot. It deliver a uh, high quality result to your virtual tour clients in the year 2020. I hope you can learn something and especially for you, if you are still have your Madventure 360 camera, I hope you can look back and remaster your Madventure 360 uh, and have reinforcement with the Winning Copper workflow. Winning Copper is actually an excellent photographer in the Madventure 360 community. And unfortunately, we lost this guy in the early year of 2020. And I make this video in memory of this amazing, talented photographer that has made 
a huge contribution to the virtual tour with one shot 360 camera and this guy has made my adventure 360 camera very capable and very shiny and i hope i can help you master your Madventure 360 better than ever before and in my next video i'm gonna share with you more about one shot 360 photography Spin.